Hey everyone, it's Owen here from Otech, and this time I'm doing an unboxing of the Gigabyte B450 Eorus M motherboard. It's an MATX motherboard meant for the Socket AM4 platform, and it's a B450 chipset based motherboard as the name suggests. And while this is not the most expensive motherboard from Gigabyte, it does have the Eorus branding, so we shall see how good this board actually is. This time we'll start by doing an unboxing and take a look at all the feature sets that's exactly shown on the box as well. So now that we've seen the outside of the box, let's just take a look inside and see what we have. Now before we take the board out of the anti-static plastic wrap that you see it's wrapped in, we should just take a look at the accessories first which are under the board itself. But for the packaging itself, it seems like a standard packaging, it's nothing fancy, it's just inside a cardboard box, there's no foam padding or anything like that. Shouldn't be a problem though. Now you also get the Aorus backplate on your motherboard, it's matte black so it'll match any case that's black these days, and it does look pretty nice. Next you also get the NVMe SSD screws for your M.2 drives, so don't lose that, it's quite important to install M.2 drives. And we also got two SATA cables, one right angled, one straight, and a B450 Eorus M gaming motherboard, manual and start quick start guide. And you also got the uh, Gigabyte driver CD, which you should never use and just download the latest online. And finally, you also got the Eorus badge, obviously, which is the most important part. Now let's take the motherboard out of the plastic packaging and take a look at the motherboard itself, which is what you guys are waiting for, probably. Now this is an Aorus board, but it's not exactly the most expensive one because Aorus used to be the reserve for the most expensive Gigabyte boards, but it has since trickled down to their cheaper lower end motherboard and uh, graphics cards. So even though this brand is Aorus, don't expect too much. It's still just a sub $100 board, so it's not the most fancy board. In fact, I don't really recommend it if you're doing heavy overclocking with this board because the VRM is not the best. It, while it does work, it's not the best, definitely. MSI's offerings in the MATX form factor are definitely better, and you get more options with MSI in the BIOS as well. With Gigabyte not even giving you a manual voltage option, it's just an offset voltage. Now if you see the VRM itself, it's also quite mediocre. It's right beside the socket, it's more like an 8 plus 3 VRM setup, but it's actually a doubled 4 phase, so it's more like parallel 4 phase, so it has double the chokes. But it's still quite enough if you want to overclock an 8 core, but just not good enough for 16 cores or more. And you also get 4 DIMM slots for your DDR4 memory, and right beside that is a 24 pin and 2 SATA ports and a couple more SATA ports on the bottom, there's 4 more actually. And on the bottom side there's the front panel connectors, USB 3 connector, 2 USB 2, an RGBW header, so it's not just RGB but it also supports a white channel. And in between the PCIe slots, you also, you also get the NVMe drive with a heatsink cover. So you can install that beneath the heatsink and it should keep the drive slightly cooler than without a heatsink. Although that's not necessary a uh, necessary feature, especially if your drive already has a heatsink. On the back panel, you can see all the ports it has. You can just check a take a look at the specs. It's not really anything fancy. It's just a standard layout with input-output of audio and as well as USB ports. Now on the back, there's also just really nothing because this board is quite cheap. But that's it for this unboxing. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, please leave a like and click subscribe to see more of my future videos. Thanks for watching.